Hello and welcome to MicroCap Tutorials. Today we're going to be talking about how to do gate source voltage protection uh, using a zener diode on a P-channel MOSFET. So here I have a PMOS in the high side and a 100 ohm resistor and the battery signal is going to be 12 volts. Later on we're going to add a transient over voltage onto that battery in superposition. Uh, but for the moment I have a zener diode and I've set it to 15 volts. Uh, keep in mind that this is the knee voltage, so what's likely going to occur is that during that over voltage event, uh, when we add it, it's going to be 16 volts because this is the knee voltage of the zener. I have a uh, series uh, current limiting resistor into, from the drive signal, and my drive signal is 0 to 12. So if I run this simulation, it looks like this. Here I have my battery up here. Battery is at 12 volts. I have my 12 volt drive signal, which goes on and off because this is a P-channel device. Off from the drive is going to be on for the MOSFET. I'm plotting the difference between the, the source and the gate in this case uh, to make that easier to show the difference because if this difference goes up to 20, 20 volts, something like that, then we could potentially destroy it, and that's what we're trying to protect against. The output, we have uh, a 12 volt um, across the load and then we have should have one yeah 120 milliamps of current so uh, that's uh, that's what we've got going on okay great so uh, now I'm going to introduce this uh, transient over voltage now 100 volts it's going to be uh, it's going to come in 200 microseconds into the simulation and it's going to be five microseconds long and I'm going to put four of them so you're going to see uh, what's going to occur uh, let's go let's go here Actually, I have to enable it, right? Yeah, that, that's the issue. All right, we're enabled now. Now we should see. Okay, so we have four overvoltage events. These are transient events that are occurring. Technically, I'm plotting them as periodic, but these may come into your circuit at particular moments of time. So you have uh, the drive signal, which is unaffected by that because we don't have a dependency. If we had dependency, then this particular voltage signal would, would find its way into the drive as well. Uh, or if it was clipped at, at the beginning, it would be sort of shunted from that effect. Um, so we're not going to talk about the driver at this point, but we are going to talk about what happens to the difference of the gate and source. So remember, if this goes up to 20 volts, then basically we've destroyed it. So we are looking to see if, if any sort of difference goes over 20 volts, and it doesn't. So we can see that that zener is clamping that voltage. I mean, this goes up to 100 volts, 120 volts, and this is clamping it to around 16 volts. So the gate and source is protected, but you can see how that transient event does make its way into the load. So you'll see a voltage spike across the load, and you'll see a current spike on the load, which goes up to around 1.2 amps, something like that. So while you can protect the gate and source of that particular MOSFET, the load may not be protected uh, from this particular injury or, or transient uh, event um, trauma. Now, the load may, may be able to sustain these things because they may be short enough um, in, in a way that it's not going to glitch things. But if you notice, the MOSFET does turn on for that particular period of time. So uh, that could be problematic. Um, we're not interested in, in demonstrating how to clip this from the load at this particular moment. Um, that's a little bit further back in the power supply of how we might remove transient events. But if transient events were to occur on the MOSFET, the MOSFET itself would be protected. And that's what we've demonstrated here. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.